Hey guys, I want to introduce myself. My name is Carl Mellison and I just started a new website. It's called ancientprimitivehunter.com and I just started my first YouTube channel too, which this is my first project. Decided that we were going to make a wool hunting shirt today and this is a very cheap, cheap wool blanket. First time I've ever done it and thought I would try it out and see how it worked before I went and bought a more expensive one and made a nicer version. So this is like the first version of this blanket. I uh, already have it cut out, but basically all I did was take one of my bigger sweatshirts that is very, very big on me because I wanted the wool hunting shirt to end up being kind of baggy and have lots of room for extra clothes underneath. And I just laid it out and cut out one side of my uh, shirt and then folded the blanket over and cut the other side out so that way both sides are equal and basically that's all i have for right now and i just started sewing it up from this edge right here and i've got about six or eight inches done so in a few minutes i will or hours maybe because I'm not really a big time sewer. I will sew a little bit more up and we'll take a look and see where I'm at. Be right back with you. Okay, well, we're still sewing away and uh, I figured maybe I'd try to show you the kind of stitch I'm doing. I'm not sure if I, I have no idea what the name of it is. It's just one that seems to work pretty good, so I'm going with it. And basically, all I'm doing is stitching it by twirling around the piece. I'm sure there's some sewing guy out there, or girl out there, that knows exactly what that stitch is called. But And if you do, that's cool. Let me know, because I'm not really sure. But, uh, yeah. This is going to be a little bit more of a project lengthwise than I thought it was going to be. So we're just stitching along here. And of course I cut my root string way too long. But that's okay because I'd rather have one big long string than pieces putting it together. And uh, that's where we're at. But anyways, I thought I'd talk a little bit about myself. Since this is my very first video really. And basically, I uh, have been into bushcraft for a very, oh, geez, probably since I was a little kid. First started out with Cub Scouts and moved on from there. So, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of upcoming projects together. I've got a bunch of stuff on my website right now that I do because I'm into the primitive stuff quite a bit. So we'll probably be making some atlatls and some darts and bows and arrows and all kinds of stuff. Right now I've been working on a cast net, which we may do some videos on them too. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a video on carving a net needle and putting a new gate and, and carving a gauge because... I figure if you're going to learn how to make a net, you might as well learn how to make that first. And, I don't know, we're just going to do all kinds of videos and hopefully you'll uh, tune in. I know this is only the first one, so chances are I probably won't get a whole lot of views, but what the heck. Okay, well, anyways, this is where I'm at for now, so I will uh, shut this off again for a few minutes. Keep on sewing, probably sew the rest of the day and probably won't put any more on this video for right now because this is going to take a while. And then when I get ready to cut out the hood and make a pattern up for that, which I haven't even done any of that yet, I will put you guys back on here and you guys can check this out. So anyways, uh, that's it for now. Oh, one other thing. While I was sewing this, I was pinning it with safety pins. That way, I could keep the cloth in line with 
both sides. Um, don't know if it's really necessary to do it, but I did. So, anyways. Okay, so I got one arm done all the way down one side. And now I'm working on the second one. And since I was kind of being meticulous about this, I decided to cut the top parts of the arms too because I wanted tapered sleeves. So I just made a whole bunch more sewing for me. But that's okay because hopefully it'll look good when I'm done. And I'm also going to take this bottom part and since I didn't have enough blanket because I laid my blanket out lengthwise so my arms would be extra long because I wanted to be able to roll up the sleeves or roll them down to keep, help keep my hands warm. So I'm going to actually add an extra piece to the back of my shirt so that I have a piece of wool hanging down below my hiney so I can keep my hiney dry and warm when I sit down on something. But anyway, so that's where we're at and I will get back to you once we get done sewing a little bit more. Okay guys, so I got both sides done, up each, each side and out to the end of the arm. The only thing I have left is to do from where my head hole is down to the end of the arm again on each side, which I think I'm going to do that in another video. But both sides are done. It's about yay big on me. Kind of hard to tell. In fact, you know what? Let me zoom that out if I can. But yes, it's about yay big on me which is pretty big. Actually, I may not even have to lengthen it. I thought I was going to have to. But, uh, okay. So, one other thing I wanted to say was that the thread I'm using, I actually bought at an auction. I'm not sure. It's some kind of nylon thread, but it was used to sew shoes together. It's kind of, kind of small, but really strong stuff. So, I ought to work pretty good. So, um, if you like this video, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to call this part one and I'm going to sit down tonight and finish sewing up a little bit of this that's left and try to probably figure out some kind of a hood for this and I'm thinking maybe even a shroud for the top of it to cover my shoulders and stuff. But we'll see about that. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to. Thank you.